Baby, you look so fine. Wonder why they name you home. Can I have your number? Cause I can't settle down without you. Your beauty has pulled me to dance to you and sing to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know I got you. Gotta know I love you. Yeah. Still alive. Alright, uh, my name is Kong. Then Kun Kong, aka K Deng. K Deng happened to be my state name. It's a combination of three names. And uh, I think and know exactly that the major population out there knew me through Tasker Project fame. And I still appreciate the people who voted for me until now. I know how I left Tusker. Uh, it left so many people wondering and asking questions and also reaching out to my, my, uh, my judge, a person who also happened to be my friend in the long run, Ian Mbugwa. Uh, after Tusker, yeah, my fans made me. I'm a happy man, and I happened to went back to South Sudan, continue with music, and back and forth to Kenya, and uh, yeah. I did music with people like Sanai Pei and also worked with some record table. And uh, I also went back home and established myself as a star of his own, you know. I, I made it out of anyone, support. And by my fans supporting me and giving me shout out in everything that I post, everything that I said when I'm on air, when I'm on TV. You know, when I'm on stage. Yeah, you know, yeah. I feel happy being around. I can say I was just a, an humble guy who didn't define his destiny by then. Uh, I was just struggling on the street. Yes, I, I studied well, somehow became a journalist. And, uh, Somehow I wanted to get a job from the government and work just like any other person. But I still had this dream that touched me back then from the years of 2003-2004 in Kakuma as a refugee right there. You know, each time I sleep, I sometimes remembered what I dreamt of and to be a humble guy, you know someone who can reach out to his communities, advise people on the issues that they are facing, especially come on things like tribal issues, come on things like uh, uh, being idols, uh, come on things like uh, having lack of trust to your own self, and come on things like developing the country you know, I choose to be the courage to the weak one. Uh, things happen while I was there watching too. Right from the the peace agreement that was signed by the late doc, the late Dr. John Garang de Mabiu, uh, things weren't going well, and. As a young man in the country, as a gentleman who also need to have a bright future, you know, I feel like I'm somehow being scratched, you know, like I feel like, you know, I'm being scratched like an airtime. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to lose my best. I didn't want to lose the best in me because I really I had to work toward it. And when I feel like I work so much, you know, I, I also find some discouragement because it's like the system is being sabotaged ahead and, uh, and things aren't going the way you want, you know. Citizens leave as if there are people above their, their will and I'm a liberator. I hate that. I remember losing my dad, you know, when I was a child, six years, he died on liberations. 
And it's because you want people to live in peace. You want people to have the self-determination that Riyadh Machar has been running for or has been talking of. On the night of 15th, on that very night of 15 December, we were massacred. My tribe was massacred. A genocide was committed and I'm a young man, I have to defend my life. And as a man also who is entitled to guarantee or assure his family of liberty in the nation, I am entitled to that defensive, to, to, the, to that uniform, even if I'm not trained. If I see wrong things happening, I can't watch people dying. I love myself, that's why I stay myself. I pick up arms, pick up my AK-47 and join the boys. And as a matter of fact, they came out large and we did defense our people. On the next day on, of, of 16, yeah, they defeated us and pushed us to what, an area called Jebel Rajab. I personally live in Jebel, that's where my house is. So uh, we made it back to the city on that night of 16, after we got flushed out, 